Three, two, one. You're gonna edit this, right, Hank? This is the longest I have attempted to grow facial hair. Do you like? You know, it's totally different as far as, you know, it's definitely emblematic of the time where we're going. You know, how do we tell stories when we can't see each other and that sort of thing? How do we communicate that need for connection? I think it's just reaching out and tackling that was, I think, fun for me. I'm still employed. You know, you want me. I really wanted to bring out the goofiness, but also kind of that arc of somebody who follows the rules. You know, that was the idea that was pitched. You know, he follows the rules. So how do we, you know, get him from point A of I want to follow the rules and then all of a sudden to point B where he just, you know, I'm done. You know, where in there does he just break as a person? Hi, Kat. I'm totally flattered you want to meet in person, but do I look like the kind of guy who's just going to meet with random strangers? I mean, I've seen enough, you know, movies to know that people like me either end up getting kidnapped or murdered in the end, right? The struggle was coming up with the weird things, but also coming up with the poignant things, right? Adding the story beats, story moments where you kind of go, what, what does that mean? I'm going to go to my grandmother and I'm just going to give her a big old hug. That's, that's the first thing we're going to do. I think I lost my train of thought. Pull the fill up. What? I'm making a video. For Kat. Yeah. I mean, she seems nice. Sorry, that's uh, Jeff. I'll be... Give me a second. Give me a second. I think trusting yourself and what you're writing and kind of the story that you're trying to put together, writing with a group of people, like virtually, and then writing with a group of people in the room, because then you also get that physical, tangible like energy that people are providing. I mean, I even asked Jeff, and he said, do it. I mean, he makes a very compelling argument. What I learned about myself is I'm a really weird guy and I have a very strange sense of humor. <laughs> Hopefully it came through. You know, who's Jeff? I mean, like, what? What is Jeff? Is Jeff actually a person? I was like, mm. my wife just called me weird. The moment, I think, in there where it just kind of went, all right, I'm, maybe I'm playing this a little bit close to home, things like that. But you know, bringing his grandmother in and me going like, you know, I was there. I didn't get to say goodbye to my grandmother either. Either so, my grandmother died, and I I wasn't there. Advice I'd give is just keep on being goofy, keep acting things out. And I am by no means a professional actor, or, you know writer or anything like that but i would say just keep at it would this be the equivalent of me being in your personal bubble honestly i don't know what i'd like to see happen with i'd kill for a date i think the experience was fun like writing it putting it together and you know super diy record all these videos and then send them over to Hank because Hank's going to edit it all together. <laughs> Would have definitely wanted to bring some element of religion. I know, like, ooh, don't talk about it, but it would be something to explore, you know, if we had the time and kind of really put it together. But, I mean, that's the challenge of story writing. Let me know. Hey, maybe we can be friends. Maybe we can chat. And we'll go from there. <laughs> Oh, God, this is so weird. <laughs>